dear students today we will learn that how to draw projection of line when it is inclined to sp and parallel to b so here is the question line ab 60 mm long at this end b 20 mm away from hp and 30 mm away from bp the whole line lies in one quadrant draw its projection in all the four quadrants if it is inclined to the hp at 32 degree and is parallel to the bp and uh, first of all we will see an animation ppt to clear our doubt orientation of line with respect to the reference plane so line is inclined to hp in this case at 32 degree angle and parallel to the bp so these are the plane bp vertical plane and hp horizontal plane where these these, these two plane meets that is xy line this is called reference line right now line is inclined to the hp as shown here this pink line at 32 degree angle right this line is a and b so now theta is equal to 32 degree in my case in the question because angle is given 32 degree so the theta will be equal to 32 degree so now from the front view you can see its true length after getting the position of the line we have to check that from which direction you can see the true length so in this case when the line is inclined to hp your front view will be a true length right and top view will be a horizontal line with apparent length so here on the bp you will draw its front view a true length line at given angle 32 degree this is your front view which is denoted by a dash and b dash at given angle at 32 degree angle from the top top is a horizontal line of apparent length right so here we will draw projection line project from both end a and b on the hp right and join them to get the top right this is denoted by ab line this will be an apparent line how to represent in orthographic pattern here it is shown on the right hand side so this is done in the first quadrant now we have our front view an inclined line at 32 degree angle at the distance whatever the distance given from hp and this is the distance given from bp right so this is in first quadrant similarly we will draw these lines in all other fourth quadrant according to the position of front view and top just draw it on the autocad so as we have seen that first of all draw horizontal line of any length this is a reference line as we have seen that true length is 60 right and our front view is a line of true length of 60 mm and which is inclined at given angle 32 degree so first of all we will draw the front view and front view is always drawn at the same distance as given from hp 20 mm from hp distance from hp is given 20 mm so you will draw a line of length 20 point uid right and we will draw here line using polar coordinate system at the rate 60 point uid less than angle angle is 32 so you will get 32 point uid 32 point uid here you will get your front right now distance from bp is given 30 so from the reference line draw a downward line of length 30 point uid 30.5 UID and increase it on the right hand side. Extend this line on the right hand side. From this end, draw downward line. Right, and trim the extra part of the line. Trim this extra part of the lines. Also, draw a small line here to show the angle. These two lines are dark because they are the views, front view and the top. Increase this thickness 0.8. these line are called projection line projection line this line should be thin 0.05 this line should be also thin it will help us to draw the 
projection only this is not part of the view so this distance this should be 20 point uid this should be 30 point uid you have to add the last two digit of your uid in all the dimensions similarly show these dimensions and for angular dimension one click here second click here and show this dimension here you can see 33 degree is shown because precision of the angular dimension is not changed so type d enter click on modify go to primary units and change this precision here of angular dimension 0 0.00 okay close yeah, now you can see the 32 point six up change the thickness of these lines 0 0.05 because dimensional lines are not part of the drawing so they are thin similarly show these dimensions this is 51.07 in my case you will have the different dimension because your uid is different right now in second quadrant Second quadrant both will be drawn above the xy line. So, first of all, at the distance of 20 point UID, draw a line at the rate 60 point UID less than 32 point UID. You will get line here. Then, draw another line of length 30 point UID. Extend this line horizontally on the right hand side. Draw downward lines. Similarly, from this point upward line, right, trim extra line. Trim these extra lines. Draw a construction line here to show the angle. Increase the thickness of these two line only because these are the front view and top view. The second quadrant both drawn above the XY line, and these lines should be thin lines. These lines should be thin lines, right? Show the dimensions, show these dimensions, show these dimensions. Show these dimensions, it should be 20 point UID and 30 point UID. Similarly, show the dimension of this horizontal line. And this will be 51.07. So these two dimensions should be equal. And thickness of these dimension lines should be thin 0 0.05. Be 0 0.05. This is done in the second quadrant. So we will write text later. The third quadrant, third quadrant is opposite of the first quadrant, opposite of the first quadrant. So this front view will be drawn below the x-ray line and top will be drawn above the x-ray line. So draw a line downward 20 point UID and draw a line here at the rate 60 point UID less than minus now you will use minus sign here minus 32 point uid right. and above the xy line above the xy line this will be 30 point uid and extend this horizontal line on the right hand side and extend this line upward and this line upward and trim these extra lines show angle here show angle here show this angle also show this angle show these two angles this should be 0 0.05 and and then other dimensions this dimension this should be same as the previous one this should be 30 point uid and
done in the third quadrant. Now show remaining dimensions. These two dimensions and these are line dimensions. Increase the thickness of these two line only. 0 0.80 and all other line. These are the called dimension line. They should be thin. 0 0.0. Fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant is opposite of the second quadrant. Both will be drawn below the x y line. Front view and top view. Both are drawn below the x y line. So draw a downward line. Of length 20 point u i d. Right. And draw a line here at the rate 60 point u i d. Less than minus 32 point u i d. Minus 32 point u i d. And extend this line. And draw a downward line of length 30 point u i d. And extend this line on the right hand side. Select the line command again. Project this line up to this point. It should be perpendicular. Similarly, from this point straight perpendicular to this line. Now you can trim extra lines. These lines should be thin, 0 0.05, and these two lines should be thick. Only these two lines should be thick in all the quadrants. All other lines, 0 0.05. This line is left. This line left. Make them 0 0.05. Right. Show angle. And show other dimensions from this point to this point. 20.67. And from this point to this point. It should be 30.67. This dimension. This should be 0 0.05. This one left. Now use the text. Type M text in the command box. M text in the command box. Enter. Left click here. Move your cursor. Again left click. Type capital X, control A to select inside everything in the box, click on this 2.5, change the size to 6 and enter. Now you can copy this. First of all, this ortho mode and objection tracking should be on. Only then we can use properly. Control C and press Control B. B for when control B to paste. Right. And click here, double click it to change it. This will be capital Y. Right. Again, control B. Right here, this will be this will be B because this tense of B is given. And this will be A. This one is A. This end is B dash. This end is A dash. Now we can copy this B. So that we can place it wherever it is required. Here and here. Similarly, you can copy A.
okay now next is b dash this will be b dash place it here similarly here now a dash place it here Control C and Control V, copy paste. We B dash. This is done in the first, second, third, and fourth quadrant. In some part of the signal is okay. These two lines are missing. They should be thin. These lines should be thin, right? These lines should be thin. Also, you can trim this extra part of the line. This one. Trim this. Now your question is complete. I can zoom it to show you clearly. I, you can save it in PDF 7.2 when the line is inclined to HP and parallel to BP. Thank you very much.